Hello everyone. This video will focus on recursive formula of geometric sequence. By definition, the recursive formula is a formula that defines each term of a sequence using the preceding term. This is the general form of a recursive formula that is a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 times r. Others might get overwhelmed with this equation right here. Let's define this equation in layman's terms. So first, when we say a sub n, this is referred to as the next term. So I'm just going to label that down here. This a sub n minus 1 is the previous term. And this r that we have here is the common ratio. So the other name for a common ratio is also a multiplier. So what is this recursive formula telling us? This formula tells us that we, once we know the previous term, we will be able to determine the term next to it. Now let's have some examples right here. Write the recursive rule for the nth term of the sequence 96, 48, 24, 12. Just by looking at this um, sequence that we have here, we can tell that this one is multiplied by one half. So if 96 multiplied by 1 half, that's 48. 48 multiplied by 1 half is 24. 24 multiplied by 1 half is 12. So this 1 half that we have here is our multiplier, the one that we multiply each time to get the next term. So if we are going to write the recursive rule for this, we just have to follow this one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and write a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 times the common ratio that we got here is 1 half. So I go ahead and write 1 half right here. So this is our recursive rule for this um, given um, sequence that we have there. Now in the next problem that we have here, we're asked to find the fifth term and the sixth term. So please remember that if we say fifth term, our n here is 5. So then we can go ahead and say that um, we can plug in this 5 into the n of this um, recursive formula that we got on this part right here. So I can go ahead and write this as a sub 5, I mean a sub 5 is equal to a sub 5. Again, I place the n, I place the 5 to each of the n's in the equation. And then that's a minus 1 times 1 half. So then I can go ahead and um, simplify this. This would mean a sub 5 is equal to a sub 4 times 1 half. Now you can see here that this a sub 4 is actually the previous term. And this a sub 5 is the next term. So once we know a sub 4, which is the previous term, we will be able to know the next term term to it. So then we can go ahead and plug values in our a sub 4. So remember, this is our a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. So our a sub 4 is 12 times 1 half. That's the multiplier. So we multiply them across. 12 times 1 is 12. So I can go ahead and write um, 12 and then that's over 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. So our a sub 5 or the fifth term is 6. Now let's have the next one right here. We have, um, we determine the sixth terms. So it's pretty much the same thing. Our n right now is 6. So then we go ahead and plug the 6 into the n of this equation. Okay, so we have here our a sub 6 is 3 or the 6th term is 3 because we already know the previous term to it, which is um, 6. And so we would be able to determine the next term to 6, which is 3 by using the uh, recursive formula. Again, the purpose for the recursive formula is that once we know the previous term, we will be able to determine the next term.
Now let's move on to the next example right here. So this time around, we do it backwards. We are given the uh, first term and the recursive formula. We're supposed to write the first four terms in this sequence. So in the first one that we have here, we have a sub one is three. Again, a sub one refers to the first term and this is our recursive rule here. So just by looking at this, since we wanted to have a four terms, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write um, four blanks here. Okay, now since our multiplier is 4, this is the R, which represents the multiplier. So then we are going to multiply each time by 4. So I multiply this by 4. Okay, our A1 tells us the first term, which is 3. So I put in the 3 right there. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then we continue the pattern. 12 times 4 is 48, and then 48 times 4 is 192, and then please remember that this is gonna go all the way to infinity. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own, and when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we have to write uh, four blanks in order that we can put in the first four terms. So I'm just gonna write the blanks here. Okay, so the first term is negative two. Negative two times one fourth is negative one half. And then we have um, negative one half times one fourth is negative one eighth. Negative one eighth times one fourth is negative one over 32. And then this is gonna go all the way to um, infinity. So we can put the, uh, the, the rest of the dots there. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. Write the recursive formula for a sub n is equal to 5 times 2 to the exponent n minus 1. So in this problem that we have here, we can get the recursive formula by writing out some few terms in this sequence. So we can go ahead and write, again, this represents the first term, this represents the multiplier. So I can go ahead and write 5 is the first term, and then again, each time will be multiplied by 2 to get to the next term. So 5 times 2 would come out um, 10, and then we go ahead and multiply it by 2 again. So that's times 2. This would come out um, 20, and then um, multiply this again by 2, and then that would come out 40, and so that would... Um, continue all the way to infinity. Now, in order that we can determine the recursive formula, we can just go ahead and write a sub n is equal to a sub n minus one times our multiplier is two. So I can go ahead and write two right there. And we need to define that our a sub one is actually five. So we make sure that we write the first term so we know where it starts from. So this is the recursive formula for this explicit formula right there. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.